So this is the uh, DJI Pocket 2, once again, doing some filming outside. You guys have only ever seen this in uh, pretty awful conditions, so I thought being that the sun is shining, we'd take a quick walk and uh, see what the footage is like. Currently shooting 1080p, 50 frames per second, and just going for a walk, get some fresh air. And hopefully as you can see, everywhere on the pavement, there are the, uh, the two meter lines. <laughs> Get a dog in. Oh, the sky looks pretty good. Looking at the uh, the display on the front of the pocket too. It actually looks like it's quite well exposed. The sun is behind us is ideal for shooting purposes and uh, hopefully the spatial audio is picking up all of those different bird noises and it certainly sounds like spring is coming albeit slowly so we actually went out for a walk to try and get some keys cut but unfortunately in the local area which is uh, known as Staple Hill sadly as per usual everything is completely closed so we're going to try and cross over now. Well, there's bloody cars everywhere. Be interesting to see how the microphone does now. We're getting to a slightly busier area. Plenty of traffic, so see what the uh, the noise cancelling effect is like. Right, let's cross over. Nice house there. So this currently is uh, coming out to the junction of, uh, I think it's Crooms Hill and Dining Road and the road that we're currently on is Shrubbery Road thanks Kath <laughs> and what a lovely day sun is shining there's a little bit of breeze which you can probably pick up on the microphone unfortunately there's no wind muffs or anything on this microphone at the moment it's currently just in a standard configuration out of the box so yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much what you get. Going to a slightly more shady area now. Not shady as in bad, but shady as in there's not a great deal of sun. There's the bus stop. Run past the car. Ah, look at that. No idea what car that is. I can smell the petrol. So coming up on uh, Christchurch Lane and Christchurch Avenue, heading towards Down End, the centre, and over just to our left hand side. Is the uh, the Duckin Willow, which used to be known years ago as the Beaufort Beaufort Inn, Beaufort Arms. Close. Thanks again, Ken. So currently we are in uh, pretty dark shade. You can see, and the ISO actually the range on this is actually really good. Oh, there's some freebies. <laughs> so coming up on our right hand side at the moment is the uh, Christchurch Got some uh, pretty nice architecture there mm. 
Yeah, I think we can walk around it, so let's do that. Looks like uh, the grass could do a bit of a trim. I guess as it is these days, not a lot is happening. Sad to see some of these headstones and stuff all toppled over. And there you can see up in front is the church itself. Never actually been in there, even though it is literally kind of like a stone's throw away from uh, where we live. And Kath's school that she went to years ago is over to our right hand side. Just behind over there. And we'll go into a, a slightly more shaded area again. And it's really nice actually next to the church is the uh, the cricket field. So that is the WG Grace kind of memorial type thing and it is also home of the Down End Cricket Club. Which is, uh, yeah. We're in some pretty, uh, pretty dark shade at the moment. But the skyline looks really nice. Nice blue sky. Over into the distance, you can see uh, Down End, Down End Shopping Centre. And we'll spin around quickly. Ooh, spooky. There's the uh, the bottom entrance into the uh, the bottom of the church. Don't want to be going in there. Especially late at night. Do you know what? All the years I've lived around here, I've never walked around here. Can we get out this end or we've got to go back around? Nah, we can go along here. It's quite funny that because there's uh, the lockdown in progress, you can't really uh, do or see a great deal. There's basically no other people around either. Sorry about this, so this is taking a little bit of a, a darker turn, <laughs> heading into a graveyard. Just over in the uh, the background, we just picked that out there. Maybe we can zoom in on that. So that is the, uh, the back of the houses and also the kind of community centre and also the a new kind of down end surgery. Zoom back out. I do quite love this little camera. It's quite flexible. It's a shame that the screen isn't bigger. You can, of course, if you want to, plug in your, uh, your mobile phone. There is a kind of connector which connects to the camera. So you can plug into the bottom of your USB connection, either USB Type C or the uh, iPhone type connection. I thought we could get out over there, so maybe not. But this is uh, going back out, so there you go. You've had a quick tour of the uh, the local cemetery. Fantastic! This is content right here. You may not know it, but it certainly is. So we're heading out now, back out onto the uh, the main road, which I think is Downing Road. Is that right? Yeah, Downing Road, which uh, connects kind of the Down End High Street following down through the kind of Staple Hill area and then going down towards your left hand side past the uh, the pub, the Duck and Willow, keep on going and it ends up eventually going into fish ponds and then eventually into Stapleton and then eventually on that same road you can get all the way into the Bristol city centre which is a common route for the buses I think the 48 possibly Maybe the 47 or the 49, I don't know, I'm out of bus in years. I'm a YouTuber, I don't get buses. <laughs> yeah, we use our legs. Or just buy online. Don't forget, Amazon affiliate links in the video description. So let's have a quick look at the, uh, the cricket field. A quick pan. See how well the gimbal does. Slowly following through. Sun shining up to the top left. And there is the, uh, the slightly famous Dine In Cricket Club, where more than uh, a few of us have had hangovers. And there we go, 
we're looking over, zoom right in. So that is a four time zoom. You can see the houses on the other side. And the, uh, the busy person cutting the grass, getting it all ready for the, uh, the upcoming cricket season. Okay, that's enough of that. So let's uh, let's carry on walking down into Dine End. We're not going to go all the way into Dine End. We've seen some of that before at night time, so we're going to avoid that right now. And there is the old people's home. And actually, that place over there on the corner, years ago, used to be uh, a video shop, Dine End Video, and they used to hire out Mega Drive games, PlayStation games, obviously. VHS video and for those of you old enough to remember also Betamax There's uh, Danny's barbershop Not that I need to go there ever And on the other side we've got a couple of shops there best connection and employment group I'm Not sure what the next one is some sort of uh, photo studio Tika Raz and top groom is a, a pet grooming parlour. Kit McGrath, which is a uh, education centre, and then they've got Love is in the Hair. What a great name for a hairdresser. And the road over there goes to the back of our co op shop, which is the local kind of, uh, well, I suppose it's like the supermarket, I guess. Closest we've got to one anyway. Plenty of traffic along this little bit, still quite busy. Despite being locked down, people getting to and fro. To and fro, can't believe I just said that. Anyway, so over on the left hand side, old friend of ours, Craig Anthony's hairdressing salon. Next to that, I think what used to be a Tui or Thompson's travel agent, not a lot of that going on these days. Optician's bride at home, which uh, unfortunately these days you're gonna have to be a bride at home. And if we just stop a minute, over on our right hand side, some garages and also Lewis Electrical and Michael Nicholas the estate agent so if you want to buy a property in Dine End hook them, look up their website there's plenty of uh, properties available not cheap but for stuff swinging back over actually the uh, where Craig Anson is is now years ago used to be uh, a shop that sold kind of Dungeons Dragons stuff games all that kind of stuff it was uh, pretty cool as a, a teenager growing up around here well, Ladbrokes, if you fancy a bit of gambling, my money's on this lockdown not being over very soon. And then you've got the new Mocha Bar. And you can see there, there's the WG Grace kind of memorial. Get you a close up on that. So there you go, WG Grace, famous uh, cricketer. It was uh, kind of born and raised around this area. And then we've got the, uh, the Down End High Street shopping centre to be honest with you it's a really nice place to live it really is some pretty cool shops things to do lots to eat and there's even a cake shop there loads of places to get your hair cut not that concerns me these days and then we've got Cedar Care Gracefields which used to be actually I'm trying to think what that used to be years ago I think it was just houses, but they turned it into uh, kind of elderly accommodation. It used to be Wessex Water at some point, or Wessex Electronics or something. You could look it up anyway. So, looking up the road, that is uh, going into North Street. Say so that again, Dan Laurie. So that's going up towards North Street and Staple Hill. Got Christchurch Baptist Church, which is uh, local. And then we've got what used to be the WG Grace house, or home, where he was born. So let's cross over, try not to get killed. And someone said hello there. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh dear. So, that is uh, pretty much it for our little tour. There we go, we're back over there. We zoom in slightly. You see that is the uh, the cricket field again. So we've kind of done a figure eight, roughly, up through and round. 
And there we go. Lovely sunny down end. Anyway, that's going to do this for this one. Let's uh, call it a day there. If you want to see more videos of this, let us know in the comments section. Any particular places you want us to take a walk in the Bristol area, we're uh, open to your suggestions. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.